Happy Sunday. Today we are going to be making a boric acid ant trap. And I have funneled in my regular granulated sugar. This is not food grade boric acid, so I'm not gonna touch it. I already have my sugar. don't want a whole bunch of water you want to leave it thick so you want to take some scissors you want to cut a hole a small hole for them to be able to go in right here and then you're going to lay it sideways on the ground Now, this does not have to be a big bottle. I prefer the big bottle in inconspicuous spaces. See that small hole? I don't mind this. This will be in a spot where nobody can see it. And then you just take it and you lay it sideways on the ground and they crawl in. Most of them do not crawl out. And whoever does make it out, they will take the poison back to the queen. And then you no longer have ants. And one last thing, when you cut the hole in the neck, you make sure that that hole is big enough for an ant, but not big enough for a bee. So you don't want beneficials to be able to get in there because they'll go in there and get poisoned. But you want it to be big enough for an ant, but too small for a bee to squeeze in there. And then you just mix it really good. I'm going to put this in a spot where um, I feel like they are coming from, but you can't see. Like nobody can see the bottle sitting there. But you want to put it in the spot where they're coming from. Make sure I have this upright. And then you're going to lay it just like that. And then they are going to crawl in and they will collect here and die. And then the colony will slowly stop coming to that area. You know ants like to reroute, but you will not have them coming towards your garden. All right. So I'm about to go put mine outside. <laughs> 